Many Manitobans will be casting their vote for mayor and council tomorrow. And like Winnipeg, residents in places like Brandon, Portage La Prairie and Winkler will have new mayors. Rick Crest has been the mayor of Brandon for the last eight years now. He has decided not to run again. Uh, mayor Crest, thanks for coming on the program tonight. Well, great to reconnect with you, Riley. So, you know, last few days, how are you feeling? Well, it's kind of overwhelming and I've been really busy. I, uh, I say I've uh, I learned to play to the last whistle and so that's definitely going to be the case here. Uh, extremely uh, busy and, you know, a lot of functions and it's uh, uh, been a, a kind of a nice time and uh, our community has been, you know, really kind to me and uh, I've had an opportunity to uh, give my thanks to our community, uh, our staff, my fellow councillors and uh, so it's been a, a pretty, uh, pretty good time. Why did you decide that now was the time to retire? Yeah, so people have to uh, realize in, in, in this occupation, your, your choices come up in kind of four year helping. So when it, the election time comes around, your choices are zero or four years. And so uh, I want to uh, leave some time. I'm uh, of retirement age, I guess you could say. I want to leave some gas in the tank for my wife and I to do some things that we want to do. We've got a new little granddaughter out in uh, British Columbia so we like to get to see her more often and uh, I also believe that uh, it's good for an organization and a community to have uh, orderly renewal uh, you know sometimes you see people that might stay a little too long and uh, I didn't want to be one of those people so uh, the time is right and um, I'm happy to have uh, been given this honor and have uh, done this job for a while I, I did spend uh, 11 years as a city councillor uh, previously so it'll be 19 years in total and so uh, I think it's uh, time for me to move on and let a, a new uh, crew in. 19 years in total did you accomplish everything you said you wanted to when you were first elected all those years ago? Well anybody that would say yes to that would have to be lying. Uh, you know that this is a long work in progress uh, even as mayor I said the city was around for about 130 years before I came it'll be here for you know far beyond us so you know we're just kind of temporary custodians uh, you only get to borrow the chain of office you don't get to own it and uh, a lot of the things we do you know take a long time and they're they're very far reaching so it's a it's always a work in progress so that's kind of the, the kind of short answer but the longer answer is I've certainly you know got to accomplish a great deal I uh, watched our city uh, grow and become you know more inclusive and more diverse and uh, really uh, you know has grown up to be the de facto second city of, of Manitoba and we take that responsibility uh, very seriously uh, you know as the hub of uh, the western part of this province. What was your favorite part of being mayor? Is there like one or two memories that stand out or, or a best day or something like that? Yeah so you know you could point to a lot of you know big projects and those are the high profile things but uh, you know it kind of occurs to me that some of the the smallest um, endeavors that I've had and they would be private uh, considerations from from uh, local citizens that are having a personal problem it's confidential and you it might not even be in the in the city's realm but I would always feel compelled to try and help the best I can and I have been able to help people like that and those are very meaningful to me to, to have um, you know made some positive impact on on somebody's life uh, certainly uh, you know navigating our community through the pandemic uh, was both an extremely difficult time but also a very rewarding time to have uh, seen the uh, immense uh, resiliency of the uh, human spirit that uh, really battled back our community uh, did very well and I'm you know extremely proud of uh, how our community uh, stepped up against the uh, against the virus. What is your advice for the person that takes office in about a week's time from now? Yeah, so you, you need to be a good listener. Um, certainly, you know, be patient and, and, you know, hear people out. You've got to consider all sides of every issue. You got to be very solutions oriented, uh, you know, kind of creative and innovative and uh, uh, be, you know, respectful. And, you know, that that's worked well 
uh, with our council. You know, I think that that's been our hallmark as we've uh, been able to establish a respect for one another, which has really made us uh, more uh, productive. And and again, I like to just be respectful to uh, all the people I meet and encounter in this uh, in this role. And uh, um, I, I think that. Uh, you, you really need to be a, a sounding board, and sometimes people need to cry on your shoulder, and you need to be as uh, responsive um, and open-minded as you possibly can be. What are you going to miss about the job? Well, along the comment I just made, it, it's really going to be practically all about the people, and uh, that's a very rewarding part, even the challenging uh, parts of it, to that... Uh, uh, you're interacting with people and, you know, try to, you know, move the ball forward and try to create uh, uh, solutions. And uh, and I would say the, the sort of the diversity of what we do, when you when you consider um, kind of any industry around, if, if you look at a municipality of a, of a decent size, there would be few uh, entities that would have as diverse a number of occupations as you would have in a municipality. Everything from police officers to paramedics to uh, transit operators to uh, sewer and water workers, sanitation uh, employees, and on and on. So it's extremely diverse. So, you know, no two days are the same in this business, and that ma it makes it very exciting. Mayor Rick Crest, uh, thank you for taking some time. Uh, congratulations and uh, all the best to you. Thank you, and I've certainly enjoyed my association with the, the media, including yourselves, and uh, thank you for all the support that you provided.